Invasion of the Astro Monster, or Godzilla vs. Monster Zero in the US, was the sixth film in the Godzilla franchise and was released back in 1965. One notable thing is that Nick Adams, an American actor, stars in this movie and he speaks English throughout its entirety. It's really weird because in the Japanese version of this film, Nick Adams is dubbed over. But in the American version of this film, he's speaking English and everyone else is dubbed. It must have been so strange to literally be acting in a different language than your co-stars on set. But surprisingly, he's not bad. Actually, I'm waiting for someone myself. We're going on a drive. Japanese girl? Not the wrong kind, I hope. You had to check up on a girl's past every time you went on a date. You'd never fall in love. So to summarize this movie's plot, a planet that they call Planet X remember, this is the 60s, is discovered on the other side of Jupiter. So naturally, two astronauts fly to the planet to investigate. When they arrive on the planet, they encounter an alien race who ask the astronauts for help. See, their planet is being invaded by an evil monster they call Monster Zero. What is Monster Zero? The demon of our galaxy. Monster Zero is the reason we cannot live on the surface. So they ask the astronauts if they can basically borrow Godzilla and Rodan from Earth so they can kill or chase off the monster terrorizing their planet. In return, they promise to give the people of Earth a miracle drug which can cure all illnesses. They agree, and the aliens bubble Godzilla and Rodan up and take them to Planet X to fight off Monster Zero. Here's what I haven't told you yet. I will show you Monster Zero. Monster Zero is actually King Ghidorah. Like, I came here to get away from you, and the people of Earth literally take Godzilla and drop him off at Ghidorah's front door. <laughs> the fight on Planet X is just awesome. I don't think I've said this yet, but this whole, like, Star Trek-y sci-fi story is just really fun. I know I'm kind of hypocritical for saying that I thought Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster was too cheesy, and then saying this one was fun. I don't know, I think I just like that this one has, like, a, a theme to it. Godzilla and Rodan are able to defeat Ghidorah and chase him off back into space. Back on Earth, the tape that was supposed to contain the formula for the magic drug that I mentioned earlier turns out to be a demand from the aliens to surrender Earth. You will place the Earth under our absolute control and be governed as our colony. Hedora was never actually a threat, but was under control of the aliens the entire time. And now they not only have Ghidorah, but Godzilla and Rodan as well. This puts our human characters in a little bit of trouble. In Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster, most of the human subplot was so disconnected from the actual film, because it focused on like assassins trying to kill a princess, and but this one the human plot ties right into the monster action, as they scramble to find out how to break the alien's control over the monsters. And they do just that, the people of Earth are able to break their control, and this leads right into the final fight between Godzilla and Rodan against King Ghidorah. Sadly, it's not a very long fight. In fact, neither fight scene in this film is particularly lengthy, but what little we have is still great. It ends off with all three monsters falling into the ocean, with only Ghidorah emerging. An unnecessary cliffhanger, because we all know Godzilla will be back soon enough. I love both Eudora films, but if I had to pick my favorite, it's this one. This one just feels more connected, like it flows better than the last one. Yeah, you sacrifice some of the action, and it still has its fair share of cheesy moments, but I still find this one very enjoyable. I'm going to give Godzilla vs. Monster Zero four stars. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I'll be back with more Godzilla in the future. I'll see you guys then. Peace out.